So today's lesson, we're going to figure out how to find our new balance after we add in the interest. We're going to do that using an unpaid balance method to start with in this chapter. So our unpaid balance method is going to compute the finance charges on a credit card based off of the previous portion's unpaid balance, what you have not paid yet. So here's what we need to know. First of all, we need to calculate what our unpaid balance is. So that's taking our previous balance and subtracting any payments and credits that were made on the account. So after we know our unpaid balance, we're going to find the finance charge by taking that unpaid balance and multiplying it by the periodic rate. So typically your credit card is going to give you an annual interest rate, but then calculate that monthly. So we're going to be looking at the period, which is typically monthly in a credit card cycle. Then we're going to calculate what our new balance will be. So we'll take that unpaid balance and we'll add in the new finance charges that we've just calculated and any new purchases that you may have made this month. Those will not be added into the interest because those are the fresh new purchases for the month. So let's look at our first example. So Anthony had a previous balance of $154.90. He made a $50 payment and made two purchases for $47.87 and $120.69. If his periodic interest rate is 2.25%, find his new balance. So the first thing I'm going to calculate is what portion was not paid. So we're going to find that unpaid balance from the previous month. So we're going to start with his previous balance and subtract out any payments. So he made a $50 payment. That's leaving his unpaid balance at $104.90. So now we're going to take that $104 and calculate the finance charge. So since our periodic rate for the month is 2.25%, we're going to put that as a decimal, 0 0.0225, and we're going to multiply that by our unpaid balance of $104.90. That's going to give us an interest charge of $2.36. So now we're able to calculate what the new balance is. Now this new balance formula is just like our previous lesson, but in this lesson we had to calculate the finance charge. So we're going to take our unpaid balance, $104.90. We're going to add in the interest that's going to be added to our account. In addition to that, we need to add in our new purchases of $47.87 and $120.69, and that's going to give us a new balance total of $275.82. So you can see that we calculated our unpaid balance, from there calculated our finance charge, and add from our unpaid balance, our interest charge, and any new credit, any new payments onto the credit card. All right, we're going to look in the book at concept check number one. You can see in this one the previous balance was $600. Payment of $100 was made. The periodic interest rate is 1.5%. Find the new balance. If you want to pause the video and do this on your own and then come back to check, that would be great. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate our unpaid balance. So our unpaid balance is going to start with our previous minus a hundred dollar payment. So our unpaid balance is five hundred dollars. Now let's calculate that finance charge. So our finance charge is 1.5 percent. So I'm going to multiply 0 0.015 times our five hundred dollars and that's going to give us an interest payment of $7.50. Now we're going to take from that and calculate our new balance. So our new balance is going to be $500 plus $7.50 in interest. That's going to give him a new balance of $507.50. Alright, we're going to stay in the book here for a few minutes and we're going to look at
it's looking for, it's giving you what the finance charge is, and it's giving you what you charged and the finance charge rate and any payments that you made, but it's not giving you the previous balance. So what we're gonna have to do is figure out what that value was. So we're gonna start by figuring out our previous balance because that was not given to us. So we need to find the unpaid balance portion first. So to calculate that, I'm gonna use the interest rate and the actual interest because I know that the interest rate times the previous balance is going to give me my unpaid balance. So I have $18.28 is equal to the previous balance times 0 0.024. So if I do this, that's going to give me an unpaid balance of $761.67. So that's our first value we were looking for. Then we want to know the previous balance. Well, the previous balance is going to be $761.67 plus the payment of $350. So you can see this one's working things a little bit backwards this time. So our previous balance was $1,111.67. So our last portion of this is asking for the new balance. So the new balance is actually going to start with the unpaid. So we're going to take that unpaid balance of $761.67. We're going to add on that interest rate that they gave us, $18.28. And we're going to also add in the new charge, which was $256.28. So our new balance on our credit card was $1,036.23. So you can see that problem worked things a little bit backwards because it never gave us that unpaid balance that we had to calculate from the interest rate. So for concept check number four, this is going to be similar to that. It says Jordan's charge account statement shows a previous balance of $284.86 and payments of 100 and a finance charge of 351. So we know the finance charge, but what we don't know is what the monthly periodic rate is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna find that unpaid balance again. So for our unpaid balance, we're gonna take our previous balance once again and subtract our payment of $100. That's gonna take our unpaid to $184.86. So if I know what the finance charge is, $3.51, I'm going to have to figure out what the rate is times our unpaid funds. So I'll take that times 184.86 and then solve this simple equation. Divide both sides by 184.86. 86. Now our rate is going to be given to us as a decimal and if I take out a few decimal places here we're going to turn that into a um, percentage but it says round to the nearest hundredth percent. So I'm going to move this over two places so that's going to give me about one and because that nine is going to round that eight up, it's really going to be about 1.9% as our interest rate. So you can see that we're going to need to use these formulas to find not only our new balance, but missing information from the problem like interest rates or unpaid balance and so forth. Look for your assignment on Google Classroom.